Hey everybody, this video is part of Audio Advice's home theater design series, which covers virtually everything about designing a home theater. Today, we are gonna be talking about the different home theater source component options available to playback movies, TV series, sports, and more in your home theater or media room. We'll break down the different options that you have and give you some tips on which ones might be the best for you. You might even be surprised to find that that old style Blu-ray player still makes a lot of sense in a great home theater. So let's get started. The most common home theater source component for most people today is definitely streaming. Your choice here will be something like an Apple TV 4K, a Roku device, an Amazon Fire device, a computer, or an Nvidia streaming device, just to name a few. With that said, any home theater really should have a streaming player, and we recommend getting the most recent 4K model available to be sure that you have the latest tech and can stream at the highest quality possible. Now, there are many options out there, but we will discuss some of the most popular and most powerful options currently on the market. First, before we start, you may not even need to purchase a streaming device if you're using a smart TV, as many of them have a host of built-in streaming services. However, some of them are slower than others, and you may lose out on some features that separate streaming devices will offer. You also may just not enjoy the interface and want something like a Roku or Apple TV for the sake of having a better user experience. But one advantage of using the services right on your smart TV is it will allow you to have one less device in your system and therefore one less thing to worry about. When it comes to streaming devices, it seems that they're all constantly being updated every few years and they're only getting better and better. And honestly, it's sort of hard for us to pinpoint the exact one that will be best for you as they are all on a pretty even playing field nowadays. Our best advice is to get the one that best suits your ecosystem. So if you're an Apple family, an Apple TV 4K is probably gonna be the best choice. Now I'm gonna jump over to our test lab here to show you some of the great features that Apple TV does offer. And my favorite one is AirPlay, where you can cast audio or video directly to your unit. So it's as simple as if I'm watching a YouTube video, I tap on it and connect via AirPlay. Experience. It and it plays directly on the TV behind me, perfect every time. Another really great function of the Apple TV is using your iPhone as a remote. So you can use this just like you would the Apple TV remote. And when you go to search something, it actually pops up with a text box and you can type in what you wanna watch right on here. And it makes it super easy to search things right with your iPhone. And the app is really, really well done. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, it works flawlessly. Now you can also pair up your Apple AirPods via Bluetooth to easily listen to your TV late at night without disturbing your partner. Plus the latest Apple TV 4K is by far the snappiest and fastest stream device that we've tested in a while. It has great features and like most Apple products, everything just works correctly the first time. It has everything that you need to get the best streaming experience, including Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, HDR 10 plus, and for an extra $20, you can get a version with an ethernet port for a more stable experience, which we recommend. Now let's move on to Roku. The Roku Ultra is also a very popular option as it includes 4K, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos 2, and has a very user-friendly interface. Their universal search function is really well done and you can even control everything with Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, or just say, hey Roku, to the remote and give it a command. The remote has a headphone jack for plugging in your headphones for late night listening, and it has four buttons that you can customize for quick access access to your favorite apps. We are also happy to see that the latest version has a rechargeable remote and a great phone app to use as the remote as well. Overall, everything on the latest Roku Ultra is lightning fast as apps open really quickly and the interface experience is just a pleasure to use. We see so many customers enjoying their Roku Ultras in their theaters that we install all the time. And it's a great choice for many people. Next up, we have Amazon streaming products. There are many options for Amazon Fire TV sticks and their best performing one is the Amazon Fire TV Cube, which is twice as fast as their best Fire Stick option. The Fire Stick 4K is still a great option for a very affordable streamer for an office or bedroom, but for your theater or media room, stepping up to the cube will be a better choice. The small cube acts as an Alexa device in your home, but also has a streaming device that can connect to your system. You can easily just talk to the device by using Alexa and tell it to pretty much do anything you want it to do without using the included remote. One thing to keep in mind is if you plan on putting this device in an equipment rack away from your setup, you will have to use the remote to use Alexa and press the Alexa button 
and when you want to speak. So the idea of having another Alexa device that is always at the ready doesn't work if this device will not be out in the open in your room. It supports 4K, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos, HDR, and can connect to some Echo devices to use as speakers. However, we recommend getting dedicated speakers and not using those Echo devices as your speakers, as in some of our testing, they didn't sound very good. Overall, the Fire TV Cube is a fast and capable streaming device, but unless you have it out in the open in your room and really want to take advantage of having another additional Alexa device in your room, you may want to consider a couple other options. Next, let's move on to the NVIDIA Shield. Now, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro is the most expensive streaming device that we will mention here, but also has some unique features that the other options don't have. It comes with 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos, and includes a cool AI upscaling feature powered by a very powerful processor inside. This allows it to upscale HD content to 4K in real time to make everything crisper and clearer. With an additional membership, you can also play games from the cloud that will stream up to 4K 240 frames per second which is extremely impressive. Now, we haven't actually tested all the gaming features on the new Shield just yet, so let us know in the comments if you want to see more about that feature. Now, it also includes two 3.0 USB ports for expanded storage and can act as a Plex media server. Overall, this device is very powerful and might be overkill for many users unless they want to take advantage of the awesome gaming features or use it as a Plex server. Now, there are plenty of other great streamers out there, such as Chromecast with Google TV, or even a PS5 or Xbox gaming console could work. But one final thing you may want to consider when making your pick is to think about the apps that you use most. All of the major streaming devices will have things like Netflix, Prime, Max, Hulu, etc., but they may not have all the certain apps, such as Twitch. For example, Apple TV 4K has an official Twitch app that works flawlessly. However, Roku does not have an official Twitch app just yet, so you're left using third-party apps that don't work as well. So if you're into watching gaming streams or any other specific apps, it's really worth checking out to see if that streaming device supports that before you make a purchase. Now, before we get too far into choosing a streaming device, there are a few things that you do need to check. If you plan on using your smart TV for streaming, make sure it supports the latest surround sound formats. Not all TVs do, especially the older ones. Even if you connect a Roku or Amazon Stick to your TV capable of all the audio formats, you do need to confirm that the TV will output surround sound as that will be your limiting factor. If your TV is from a major brand and is 2020 or newer, you're probably covered, but it's always a good idea to double check. The easiest way to do this is to just pull up your TV audio settings. Usually there will be a TV audio output setting, and this is where you will find the surround sound formats if it has them. Now, I think it's worth mentioning here that most of these streaming devices do have a universal search function, and it's usually a button right on the remote. For Apple TV, you can use Siri to search for a movie. However, you do have to be careful because sometimes it will direct you to Apple to buy or rent the movie, even if the movie is already on Netflix for free if you're subscribed to it. So a good example of this, if you go into Netflix, you can see Apollo 13 is on Netflix and I'm subscribed to it. Now, if I go back to home and I search using Siri, watch the movie Apollo 13. It's going to use Siri and when I click on it, it wants me to buy or rent the movie and it doesn't open Netflix. Now this doesn't happen all the time, so let's go to another movie on Netflix here. Let's search for The Matrix Reloaded. Let's watch The Matrix Reloaded. And you can see that Apple TV opens Netflix and immediately starts playing Matrix Reloaded right on Netflix. So you do have to be careful. This happens with Google TV and it happens with Roku devices as well when you're using the universal search function. To be sure you do a quick Google search and find out if it's on one of these streaming apps before you use that universal search function on your streaming device. In addition, most of these streaming services are now offering titles with Dolby Atmos movies and shows too. Although they are constantly being updated, you can check out our video on how to access Dolby Atmos titles on most streaming platforms, which I will link below. The legacy home theater source component that we are actually seeing less and less of in home theaters is a cable or satellite receiver. Both cable and satellite have been promising us more 4K content, but the streaming services are currently winning this battle by a mile. There is also far more content in the new Dolby Atmos and audio surround sound formats on streaming services. There is one use case for satellite TV though, if you are in an area with a very limited internet speed. Your picture experience might be better with a satellite feed than a very slow streaming service. 
Typically, if you can get cable service to your home, you can also get high-speed internet. Now, we've probably all had a cable box or a satellite receiver, and if you have not cut the cord yet, you might be keeping one for some local content and sports. But if you have had yours for a while, be sure to call your provider and upgrade to the newest model. Many times, people stick with a very outdated cable or satellite box, just not knowing that they could upgrade if they ask. Okay, the next source component option is one that you might not think of right away, but it's one of the best options for a home theater. Many years ago, it was not possible to have a home theater without a DVD player followed by a Blu-ray player. With the advent of high-speed internet and a massive increase in streaming services, the physical disc is starting to die off. Many people think that there's no need for a Blu-ray player in a home theater these days. We would argue you are missing out on a better experience. Blu-ray players are not very expensive compared to the price of other home theater source components, and if you shop around, purchasing a physical disc in many cases actually costs less than buying it with a streaming service. With Redbox kiosks blanketing the countryside, it's usually less expensive to rent a Blu-ray from Redbox than it is to rent a movie from Apple, Vudu, Amazon, etc. You just have to plan a little bit in advance to grab that disc on your way to the grocery store, but it is less expensive and higher quality than streaming. And one reason to go for that Blu-ray player is the sound. You'll get full audio quality on a physical disc, which does not always happen with a streaming movie. Most streaming services will try to make the picture look the best and compromise the audio with lots of compression. Plus, almost any Blu-ray disc of a movie has the soundtrack done in either Dolby Digital, DTS, HD Master Audio, True HD, or Dolby Atmos, whereas many streaming services compromise the surround track. While you may not see the difference in picture on a smaller TV, if you have a large TV or projector, you should also notice better video quality using a physical Blu-ray disc. When you have the actual disc, you are assured of the best possible sound and image, and heck, it even costs less in most cases. Our advice is to include a Blu-ray player and better yet, a 4K Ultra HD model in your theater plans. And if you are adding a gaming console to your system, it's probably gonna have a Blu-ray drive anyway. You probably spent a lot of time picking out your perfect home theater speaker system, so why not give it a chance to really show itself off with a Blu-ray disc? Moving on to the next component is one that is for the ultimate movie lover who has a high-performance home theater. This option is from a brand called Kaleidoscape. They have been around for decades and manufacture a hard drive system that allows you to legally download and own a bit-for-bit -bit perfect copy of the movie. It used to take over an hour to download a movie from Kaleidoscape, but their latest tech and faster speeds allow you to download one in as little as eight minutes. They have also added a rental option for much of their library as well, which is not that much more expensive than renting one from a major streaming platform. The bigger your screen size is and the better your home theater speaker system is, the more you will appreciate a Kaleidoscape player. A spinning disc still has error correction as the laser reads the disc and puts all the bits back together. With a Kaleidoscape, Escape download, you have every single detail of the movie, just like the content a real movie theater gets for playback. The sound and picture are even better than Blu-ray, and as your screen gets bigger, it's easier to see the difference. Plus, their user interface is second to none. The price of entry for a Kaleidoscape system is well into the four figures, but if you've got a video projector with a 140 inch or bigger screen and amazing surround sound speakers, you want the best home theater source component that money can buy, and it is a Kaleidoscape. I'll leave a link to our full Kaleidoscape overview below if you wanna learn more. All right, I hope this video has given you a good insight into all the different home theater and media room source component options and some of the streaming services as well. Now, I'm interested what your favorite source is to use in your theater or media room, so leave a comment below and let me know which one it is and why. And if you have further questions here, just contact our experts via chat, phone, or email, or simply visit one of our world-class showrooms to experience speakers, projectors, TVs, and everything in between for yourself before you make a purchase. And if you're planning your own home theater or media room, you have to check out our home theater design page where we have everything home theater related, including our free home theater design tool. And when you buy from audioadvice.com, we offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on any of our latest content and to help support us. Now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.